with due standing, authority, and authorization, without prejudice, public policy, UCC 1-308, the public trust, through its duly bonded trustees of record, UCC 1-201, 31, and 33, knowingly, willingly, and intentionally duly issues this official announcement of disclosure regarding point zero pursuant to mandate this December 25th, in the year of our Creator, 2000, and 12, as the Creator lives, the following is true and correct, and we are competent to say so. Yes. The Commercial Registry. The Uniform Commercial Code. Commerce. Whether domestic and international, matters not. Over many moments of present, it was quietly and covertly made the supreme law of all lands on earth, the secretly prized pinnacle of human capital and natural wealth registration and management of what have been formerly referred to as the powers that be. With feverish focus and commitment, it has been made uniform right before your very eyes, albeit eyes wide shut for the most part. What is not widely known is that the supreme law has been duly registered in commerce and duly gifted to the people equally and jointly as their full and defeasible title, ownership, and rights as secured party, a matter of record, unrebuttable, and unrebutted. In line with the most skilled magicians known and unknown, the existence of another sort of magician began to emerge. A sort with the unrivaled charisma, acting skills, and backing of the most decorated talent, a sort with a fanatically deep rooted and cultured focus and commitment that was perceived by them as inrutable, undiscoverable. This sort deceptively analyzed the people with the distraction of constitution and democracy created by the slight of knowingly arrogant hand on one side, while the other hand covertly registered the truth in commerce by the slight of the pen with the other. Swearing absolute solidarity amongst their own kind, this sort agreed to secrecy, never to reveal the truth, for fear, and absolute knowing that this sort's world, nay their very existence, would and if the truth were ever known to their audience, their capital, the people. At the very best, if the truth be known, the people would no longer believe and pay tribute again, leaving this sort of magician to disintegrate in the sole vampiric company of their own kind. At the very worst, well, this sort never got this far. Their ego was so great they could not fathom someone outside of their inducted kind competent enough to discover the truth, let alone someone being of capacity, willing and intent to effectively use and enforce it. In order to ensure this sort's agenda, they routinely and tirelessly trained their apprentices to practice this sort's magic. At any and all costs, the agenda was deviously preserved, protected, and, for the most part, quietly and covertly implemented by registration in commerce. When thou crept in amongst their own kind, this sort would resort to the darkest methods imaginable and unimaginable to keep their kind in line, focused and committed. This sort did arm their unwitting and witting apprentices alike with the motto that intelligence rules the world and ignorance bears the burden. And they reinforce the illusion of guarantee of the truth of this motto by using the same tricks of shock and awe, deception, fear, coercion, and force that they use to keep the people on the edge of their seats, nevertheless, in their seats, like good capital should be. However, ego was to be the sort's fatal flaw, resulting in their lack of contingency plan for the scenario of their failure to succeed by registration of agenda. Not only did those with a fierce competency emerge throughout the many, many, many moments of present, but they knowingly, willingly, and intentionally did, and use, and enforce it without conflict, and without prejudice in a ever quiet manner, with a superior focus and commitment to truth and the highest good of all people that baffles and disorients this sort of magician. Every action made is duly bonded and registered in commerce, and noticed. This sort of magician desperately tried to adapt at each of these moments of present, ever fearful, causing this sort to make fatal mistakes of transparency, albeit not known by the people in full context, yet. In the end, this sort's overwhelming complacency, lack of competency, and lack of capacity by their own choice of action rendered this sort's unfathomable and duly registered as absolute unrebuttable and unrebutted truth in commerce. Those of competency regarding this sort's existence and magic knew that the most effective way to guard, preserve, and protect the people, all the people equally, was to ever quietly implement the opportunity for truth to be by the knowledge from within by action of registration of zero point or prime in commerce, unrebuttable and unrebutted, knowing that the effects of the action taken to lawfully, legally, and duly secure the people and their wealth domicile therein under perpetuity, the truth. 
could be subsequently known in context from within the people. This truth that this sort of magician knowingly, willingly, and intentionally attempted to hide from the people, their audience, their capital, by extreme deceptive acts, practices, systems, and other heinous actions to keep the people on the edge of their seats, nevertheless, in their seats, like good capital should be. However, the sorts actions and systems, a matter of record, have become their shackles that no amount of magic will free them from. This sorts actions and systems, whether under the deceptive guise of government, office, treaty, act, constitution, or entity, inclusive of the private systems formerly known as nation, United Nations, and its special agencies of IMF, The Hague, World Bank, and Bank for International Settlements, from each family of this sort of magician, from land to land, sea to sea to the Holy See, all have been lawfully, legally, and duly verified as registered in commerce as duly foreclosed, duly verified debtors, to the people, all the people equally on earth. On October 24, 2012, as a matter of law, matter of fact, and, as a matter of public policy, unrebuttable and unrebutted, over many moments of present, the lawful and legal standing, authority, value, rights, and principle of law aligned with common law of the people, all the people equally, have been lawfully, legally, and duly registered in commerce, as it was created by prime, by zero point, by creation, as a matter of record, unrebuttable, and unrebutted. This sort, debtors, are duly verified and registered, as bankrupt, the states of body of the people, all the people equally, and the wealth domicile therein, have been duly unhidden from where it has always resided, where this sort of magician has always focused and committed its attention, on management of the people. The people, all people equally on earth, have an individual duly verified some certain of 5 billion, 5 billion point zero zero, in lawful money of the United States of America gold and silver over three quintillion five hundred quadrillion three quintillion five hundred quadrillion point zero zero just in duly verified equity debt against the debtors there is an additional duly verified some certain of five billion five billion point zero zero in lawful money of the united states of america gold and silver for each of those people damaged by the actions and systems of the debtors over three quintillion five hundred quadrillion three quintillion five hundred quadrillion point zero zero lawful money of the united states of america gold and silver in duly verified debt of damages against the debtors this debt does not include the repossession of tangibles unlawfully and illegally obtained by the debtors over the many, many, many moments of present, those, too, shall be duly registered in commerce, as the lawful and legal full title, ownership, and rights of the people, equally, and placed in a digital exchange, that shall also be owned by the people equally, for lawful, legal and transparent commerce and trade of such tangibles. Any and all titles, ownership, and rights to land and sea have been lawfully, legally, and duly registered in commerce as unlawful, illegal, null, void, or otherwise cancelled for cause, and are being lawfully and legally reset in accordance with universal law. Any and all currencies, privately owned and issued paper, also formerly known as current funds, have been lawfully, legally, and duly registered in commerce as unlawful, illegal, null, void, or otherwise cancelled for cause. You, the people, each one individually, shall make a choice of how to invest your gold and silver, inclusive of any possible representations of that gold and silver. You shall make a choice on what final systems and governance, if any, you chose to implement for your benefit, absent abrogation, usurpation, subjugation, violation, usurpation, and invasion to any other. While the veil of illusion is systematically and finally revealed and disclosed by truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, by various sources, for you to consider and use to make informed choices, the people, the earth, and all value domicile therein, thereon, and therefrom shall continue to be guarded, preserved, and protected by the continued implementation of the opportunity for truth, to be by the knowledge from within each of the people equally, and duly registered in commerce for all the universe, and the people to rely upon, all underwriting duly registered and noticed, otherwise known as UCCs, are further posted at www.peoplestrust1776.org for equal and unfettered access by the people domicile on earth by creation, without prejudice and exception, unconditionally, always. Happy Holidays! Visit AscensionWithEarth.com to discuss the changes taking place on Mother Earth, the galaxy, and the universe. AscensionWithEarth.com